Good morning. Welcome to the Academy at Shawnee. Today is a momentous occasion. We partner today with the University of Louisville and Jefferson County Public Schools and the community of Greater Louisville to embark on this journey to impact the lives of our children they're going to make the difference in the city of Louisville. I tell you, when I sit here, or stand here, when I took this job um, under the great influence of Dr. Blake Hazelton and Dr. Donna Hargens, I wanted, the first thing I wanted to do is name and claim every child. And we have to do this as a school, as a community. We know there has to be three adults for every child. One for those social emotional needs, one for the academic behavioral, and one even as a mentor. Every student has to be connected to a pathway and have these relevant experiences that exist. We gotta get the right people in the right spots and we gotta get them on the right bus. It takes purpose, direction, it's about a process that's systemic We've got to focus on progress, not motion. It takes innovation and invention. And we all need to strive and move in one direction. So it's without a doubt that today's special opportunity to bring this to fruition was a team effort. It wasn't without many great people in this community to make this happen today. So as we embark on this journey together, I want to say a special thanks goes out to my good friend and mentor, Dr. Blake, Blake Hazelton. Also, Dr. Cor or Mr. Corbett has been a, a big influence on this uh, opening. And we have a great opportunity here for our kids. One of the things that I recognize right away with our students is they need someone who loves them, who cares for them, and provides supports for them. This is going to provide that opportunity. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to a very special person who has worked with me in other capacities. And she is now taking on an exciting post at the University of Louisville. And I'm proud to have her as a friend and as a colleague Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Ann Larson. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Dr. Barber. Um, we're very pleased to be among you today for this exciting announcement. We've been thinking about this work for a long time and this day for a long time. So it's very exciting to be here today and see this project come to such a promising beginning through a new partnership. Before we get started, I want to recognize a number of those who worked hard to make this center a reality. I want to call attention to Dr. James Ramsey for his uh, vision, the president of our university for the Signature Partnership Initiative, and Provost Shirley Willinghands, our provost who supports our academic programs and our partnership initiatives, Dr. Blake Hazelton, our former dean, and of course, Dr. Houston Barber. I'd also like to thank Dr. Donna Hargens, the superintendent of Jefferson uh, County Public Schools for her leadership, vision, and willingness um, and eagerness to partner with us. As many of you know, Dr. Hazelton served as interim dean for our college for six years. And he made good use of his time and vision in the dean's chair by forging, forging stronger partnerships with JCPS. Blake and Principal Barber are both visionaries. But more than that, they're doers. So a big thank you to both of you for all of your hard work. I'd also like to recognize Dr. Eugene Foster, the clinical director here, um, and Dr. Jason Osborne, the chair of the department, 
and Celia Omdahl for her efforts in making all of this come together at Shawnee. I'd also like to recognize and thank the departmental faculty of ECPY and the graduate students who are here for their dedication, commitment, and engagement in this partnership. So let's move now to today's announcement. We are pleased to announce that the University of Louisville and Jefferson County Public Schools will officially cut a ribbon to open the Cardinal Success Program at the Academy at Shawnee. This new program is designed to complement the skill set of Shawnee's teachers, administrators, and guidance counselors so that this school's students and their families have access to high quality mental health counseling right here within the school. Superintendent Hargens, through her leadership as JCPS superintendent, often cites in her talks the importance of taking a holistic approach toward education. She understands that a student's approach to social, emotional, and mental health, in addition to their academic experiences, is a critical component for life opportunities and academic success. We have tremendous resources at U of L to help young people, educators, and the community. And that's one of the reasons this program makes such good sense. U of L has a team of talented and knowledgeable faculty and graduate students who are eager to engage with and help JCPS and the greater community. And likewise, JCPS helps our college and our university by offering a clinical environment for counseling. What we mean by clinical environment is a context in which college students work closely with professional practitioners in an intense, hands-on environment. The approach is similar to the way medical doctors are educated and trained. Our university, I'm proud to say, is a pioneer in this area of clinical practice through community engagement. We have found this commitment to be very successful and highly integral to our work at the university and it aligns with core principles and the strategic plan of the University of Louisville. So now we promise everyone that we would keep our remarks short, so I'm going to hand things over to our Executive Vice President and University Provost Shirley Willinghance, who is always supportive of these efforts to say a few words. Madam Provost. Good morning, everyone. You know, we've spent a lot of time talking in this community about the importance of a college degree. And we don't spend as much time talking about how if you're going to go to get a college degree, you not only need to be academically prepared, but you need to be emotionally ready to do that. Um, mental health is one of the aspects of growing up that needs to be strong and our children need to be well so that they can learn and so that they can succeed. And we know that if you've got a strong mental outlook, you have a better chance of being a resilient person, of being a good critical thinker, of managing stress appropriately, and of really feeling ready to take on the challenges that the world presents to all of us. Being prepared for college means that in addition to being academically ready, the student is mentally and emotionally ready to cope with college life and to take on the challenges that that presents. And if a student is truly ready, it greatly increases the likelihood that he or she will be wearing a cap and gown in four years after they start at the university. It's a very big deal for many of our students to think about wearing that cap and gown. We know that our community needs more people with bachelor's degrees. The 55,000 degrees initiative, for example, is, is really looking at this idea that we need 55,000 more people with college degrees in Louisville if our city is going to be prepared to economically compete with many other cities that are also trying to grow and attract great people and businesses to their areas. We know that a college degree helps with an improved quality of life and we know that people with college degrees in a community help make that community itself more vibrant and stronger. That's been the focus of our signature partnership to take resources that are at the University of Louisville partner them with resources that are already in the community, and to bring an ongoing emphasis to improving quality of life in this area. More than 900 individual projects are directly involved in the Signature Partnership Initiative, and that includes areas of economic development, social and human services, 
health care, and of course, one of the things that we're most proud of are efforts to work with JCPS and other people in the community to improve educational attainment in this area of our city. Many of these partnerships are with the JCPS schools and with individual schools. Our faculty, staff, and students work closely with individuals who are directly engaged with the students. This work has moved beyond the theoretical underpinnings that universities are usually known for and moved into actual hands-on application, hands-on involvement, hands-on caring, hands-on being there so that together we can form those tight-knit communities that we know are needed to support all of our children if we're to have them succeed. So today we're standing in a hallway, we're surrounded by these walls, but because of the work that's going to be happening at the Cardinal Success Program, these walls are going to fall down. And the children that are growing up here are going to find that a whole world is open to them because they have the resiliency and the skills to go out in that world and make their own dreams come true. I'd now like to turn it over to one of our very best partners, Superintendent Donna Hargens, um, because this work couldn't happen without her. You know, people say I have the toughest job in Louisville. Now you have to admit it, I have the best job in Louisville because of partnerships like this. Dr. Willigans and Dr. Larson, we're committed to providing all children with the support that they need to make sure that they can be successful. We are so fortunate and so proud to have the University of Louisville as a partner who shares this same passion. Our students do not and cannot check their burdens at the schoolhouse door. So our schools, our schools must be places that can lighten their load and meet their needs. Places that provide wraparound services that support the whole child, mentally, emotionally, and socially. That is why our Board of Education approved in the budget, and I wanna uh, acknowledge Chair Porter, to put 15 additional mental health counselors in our schools this year. That's why we have student response teams and a positive behavior intervention and support that are helping reduce suspensions. It is why we have Louisville Linked, which connects tens of thousands of students with families and the community resources they need. And it is why this success program is a powerful addition to the Academy at Shawnee our district and to this community. Dr. Barber and his staff are committed to this holistic approach to education. As you've heard him mention earlier, they've initiated the project Three to One. Three to One is a mentoring program that seeks to pair each Shawnee students with three adults for their social and emotional well being, academic and behavior, and mentoring. The Success Center at Shawnee will strengthen this initiative while providing a complete additional layer of assistance and encouragement. I thank the U University of Louisville for their unparalleled signature partnership efforts. And Dr. Willingans, Dr. Larson, Dr. Hazelton, Dr. Foster, Dr. Osborne, and our own Dr. Barber and Ms. Omdahl for making this center a reality. Together, we can lift the burdens weighing our students down so they are on the path to graduating prepared. We can build up our young people and help them find their own strength. We can help ensure that all JCPS students graduate prepared. And we will not rest, will we, Ms. Porter, until all JCPS students graduate prepared. So thank you all for joining us today. We could not be more thrilled uh, for our partnership with U of L. Go cards. <laughs>